Swiss cheese. You know what? The... <laughs> I have one daughter now. One of my daughters has actually grown. She's like, a, she's becoming a woman at this point. She's like a, she, blossoming. She's getting this stuff. She's getting. Th I'm not. I'm not supposed to know. That's a mother-daughter thing. They talk about that together. They don't tell me anything about it. Like, like it would be embarrassing. Like, like I would talk about it publicly. So anyway, she. she... <laughs> So I get the messages at night from my wife who wants to keep me informed and I don't understand shit. I grew up with brothers, so I know nothing about women. So she tells me things and I try to act excited, but I don't know what they mean. She, the other day she says, Howie. I said, yeah. She goes, guess what? I go, what? She goes, we got her a training bra. And I said, wow, but I'm thinking, what the fuck is that? I don't even know what that is. What is that? What is it? You've heard, I've heard of it, but what is it? What, okay, okay, here's my question, ladies. Seriously, here's my question, honestly, and be honest with me. How, how much? How much training is involved? Seriously, because I want to be responsible. I want to let those puppies out before they're fully trained. I don't, I don't want to get a call from downtown one night. There's a left hit going nuts. Who the fuck trained this? Sit, stay. Where are the wheels on this deal? What do you need it to do that it doesn't do naturally? What, what are you training? What are you training? What are you training? Would that be a compliment? I haven't dated in years. If I saw a woman without her top on on a date, just say, oh, you're... Your breasts, no, those, are, those are so well trained. Those are, they're not wild like the other girls' tits. They, you, you came in the room and they're right there with you. I like that. <laughs> women, you, you, look at me, I'm standing like a woman. Women, you ever watch women, you ever watch women go shopping? Women shop, every woman does this. They shop, they try on their clothes, they stand in front of the mirror and every woman has the same goddamn pose. You all stand in front of the mirror with that pose, with that leg. What is with the fucking leg? Why do you put the leg out? What is with the leg? Watch women try, watch a fashion show. At the end of the runway, women stop with the leg. What is with the fucking leg? What are you doing with the leg? Why are you sticking the leg out? Guys, we try shit on, we just stand there like. <laughs> but women, you have, the, you have the leg. What are you doing with the leg? Pardon me? It makes you look better? This makes you look better. You think this makes you look bad? You think guys are going, you know, how is she? Well, she's okay, but if she would just put one leg out. <laughs> she'd be so much better. What the fuck are you talking about? That's not, what, is there a reason for putting the leg out? Pardon me? It balances you. It ba this balances you. What, it's tough to balance in a brand new outfit? <laughs> These are brand, it's a brand new blouse. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you know what? Fuck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, t I'm gonna take it anyway. I'm gonna take it, please. Please, everybody out of the way, I'm wearing a brand new blouse. Please, please, I don't wanna hurt, I'm, I'm wearing, this is a brand, it's a brand new blouse, please. I'm just, I'll get used to it by the time. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Is there a reason for the leg being out, seriously? What? Thinner. No, makes you look thinner. Yes? No. Stupid. No. So, I mean, if your theory was right, if your theory's right, you're standing at a party like this, and people go, Debbie, you lost so much weight. And you go, not really. I just... <laughs> It's just, it's just an optical illusion I've come up with. <laughs> I could stand at a buffet all you want and eat. Assume this did give you a better look. Isn't it important when you're spending your hard-earned money on apparel to see what it's going to look like no matter where you go or how you are? I mean, how often in life are you like this, ladies? If it looks good in the mirror like this, you can't... I'll take it. I'm out of here. Here I go. Look at me go. Look at me go. I, I, I'm going... Look at me. Don't I look thinner and better? And look at my balance. I just, you know what? I'm this close to frolicking. I am. <laughs> Women react to stuff, overreact to stuff that we would never react to as men. I was in a clothing store. I heard a woman, I'm not exaggerating, I heard, I heard a woman go, oh my God. I went, what? I got scared. She went, oh my God. I went, what? Then I heard her go, that top is stunning. <laughs> to me, oh my God does not go with that top is stunning. Oh my God goes with, put down that knife. You, <laughs> you'll never hear a man going, fuck. I love you in those slacks, Bob.
You complain about shit that we would never complain about. Women complain about their checkups. Their checkups, their physicals. Can you believe that? A woman complaining about the, guys, have you ever gone to where they go? They have a table built specifically for them. It's beautiful with shiny stirrups, a place to put their legs. I'm serious, they can rest their legs up on there. They have like a robotic Daffy Duck that opens them. They have instruments inserted and scrapings taken and shit sent off to labs. And they complain, you know what we get? One fucking finger up the ass, that's all we get. We're getting gypped. I want more shit up my ass. You know, you know that's a joke, right? I, uh, I, don't want, I don't want anything up my ass. You know that, right? You know that. That's a joke. If you have something for me, you see me on the street, don't, don't, don't put it in my ass. That's our test. I don't even understand. See, women, when you leave the, the office, even though it's uncomfortable, you can feel that it was thorough, that you got, you, you got checked and they know it. But what is this? How thorough is this? What kind of genetic dipstick is this? What kind of... What, what could you be checking? I, they say it's for your prostate, to see if your prostate is enlarged. What, what form of measurement is this? How do you remember from the last time, the size? Last time you were here, it came up to the second knuckle. What do you... <laughs> Women, your anatomy. I don't understand your anatomy. Well, I do understand it, but here's another question I have for you. The older you get, the old, and I'm not talking about, assume you don't gain any weight. How come the older you get, the bigger your fucking panties get? What is going on there? How come you start off with small panties, then you have bigger panties, pretty soon you're tucking them in under your tits? What the fuck is going on? Two weeks ago, I gave my grandmother a wedgie. It's like hoisting a fucking sail. You gotta see this. Guys, go, go to Victoria's Secrets. Go to Victoria's Secrets. There's tables and tables. First they got like thongs, panties, big ass panties, fucking parachute section. What's going on? What's going on? It's, it's a secret, right? It's Victoria's Secret, maybe. <laughs> Women don't take signals. You don't take signals at all. We take signals. I can take signals. I'll be out with my wife and with another couple. I'll be saying some shit maybe I shouldn't be saying, right? So my wife gave me a signal under the table. She'll give me like a kick. <laughs> oh my God, it's a, it's a signal. Maybe I'm saying something wrong. So I veer the conversation in another direction, it's fixed. I fix it. Have you ever tried this with a woman? It doesn't work. It's not the same. My wife will be saying some shit she shouldn't be saying, so under the table I give her a little signal. She'll... What? <laughs> what are you kicking me for? What did I say? Tell me what I said. I didn't know it's a signal. Then don't you kick me. I wasn't kicking you. I was just... I wanted to look better and thinner. That's what I was doing. I, wasn't, I was just trying to... I don't understand your products. Your products. I'm not making fun of you, ladies. You have yeast infections. We have our problems, you have yours. For yeast infections, you buy a product called Monostat 7. This company came up with this remedy, because the name for the remedy, because it's a seven-day remedy, right? This company in the last year and a half has a new and improved product called Monostat 3, which is the three-day remedy. So you would think once they come up with the three-day remedy, the seven-day remedy would be obsolete. But no! If you go to your counter to buy Monostat 3, right beside it, prominently displayed is the Monostat 7, so you have a choice. What kind of fucking choice is that? What could you be thinking if you have this problem to buy the seven-day remedy over the three-day remedy? What could you possibly be thinking? I want to hang on to my yeasty boys another four days? What are you thinking? Why? Why would you buy Monostat 7 over Monostat 3? Why? Cheaper. Why? Cheaper. Cheaper? Cheaper? And this, this is where you've decided to cut your budget. This is where you... This is, this, I don't want to know that. Honey, don't worry. Tonight, I'm picking up dinner. No. no. Don't ask. I scrimped and I scraped and I was able to... What the hell are you talking about? You have, you have panty liners. Now, I don't, don't, I don't want to even know what those are. But <laughs> some sort of product, you need panty liners. But they're not, they're not normal now. Now they come with wings. Where the fuck are you flying off to? Where are you going? Where the hell are you going? Honey, quit the flapping. I'm trying to watch TV. Where the fuck are you going, ladies? Where? I started buying shit. I started buying the pens for myself. I love those. I wear those. Those adult diapers, I wear those. I I wear, not all the time, I wear them on weekends and to parties. <laughs> See, you laugh, but I can have 20 beers and not miss a fucking thing. I, I'm serious. 
I danced the whole night. People say, Howie, don't you ever piss? I say, depends. You know, you don't know. See, I'm teaching you. I'm teaching you. I'm not only entertaining you, I'm teaching you. That's what, that's what I do now as a parent. I have to, I have to teach I, all the time. It's like I, I answer questions all the time. My kids, the other day, I hear my son yell, Dad, get in here! So I run down the hall in a panic, and he's in the bathroom with the door closed. And he goes, Dad, get in here. There's something you got to see. And I'm thinking, no, there's nothing in there I need to see. He goes, please, Daddy, please. And my, he's my little boy. He's my, so I had to. I had to. So I open up the door, and my, my little boy is standing in the, in the bathroom be, beside the toilet. He, he had just he had launched a sea pickle. <laughs> so he's pointing at it, and he's going, what's that? What's, what's that? And I look in there, and this is crude, but I had to tell him, you got to be honest. I said, don't worry, honey, don't worry. It's just, it's, it's corn. <laughs> he said, well, where'd that come from? And I said, well, remember yesterday we had corn? He goes, yeah. I said, here it is. <laughs> He said, well, Dad, where's, where's everything else we ate? <laughs> and this is what bothered me. I couldn't tell him, where the fuck is everything else? What's, isn't that another wonder of this world? What's going on in here? How come we can eat steak and it turns into shit? We eat broccoli and it turns into shit. Cake turns to shit. Corn comes in, it won't fuck with that. It just sends it out. <laughs> Even if you chew the corn, it's like it fixes it up and polishes it and sends it out. It, it won't fuck with corn. <laughs> You know what I just thought of? My son crapped corn. I don't care. Have you ever seen me before? No, I have not. But you are a, are you a fan? I don't really want to say. You don't want to say? No, I, I'm not. I'm well, you know what? I'm we not, shouldn't I'm give not, it a... I'm, go, go, I'm, go. Not, I'm not a big comedy fan. You are not a big comedy fan? No, I'm not. Well, I'm Howie Mandel. I'm very in... in Howie I'm a very, Mandel. Howie Mandel. Does this sound familiar? No, Howie. No, I, no? Howie no. Mandel. I used to, uh, I used to put, uh, years ago, I don't do it anymore, I used to put a, I used to put a, glo uh, like a glove on my head, I used to put a glove on my head. Did you ever see me do that? No. No? No, sir, I haven't. I was on a show, I, was a, I played a doctor on TV for years. I have no idea who I am. No. No, I don't. Would it, would it bother you if I kissed you? Yeah, it would. I know, I just want to know, I wasn't <laughs> going to kiss you, I just want to know how you would feel about that. <laughs> I don't go for it. All right. Well, that's you know, and that's fair. Yeah.